So with that in mind, uh, on frame zero, we're gonna basically key uh, the pose at the default T-pose position so we can export this character out for the game engine. Um, and then we're gonna start on frame one. I'm at 30 frames a second. We're gonna assume that our uh, game is gonna be um, at that frame rate. Um, I'm going to kind of uh, put a uh, default kind of pose into our character. Um, so I have, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna probably end up rotating this character uh, to match the reference. Uh, but what I'm gonna do first is I wanna kind of try to put him in kind of a, uh, Kind of, kind of a, a ready stance. Uh, the the reference that we have um, in place here is a little bit uh, not the best to start with. So I'm going to make it a little more, make it a little more interesting. And uh, I'm just going to kind of make a uh, kind of a pose uh, that's a little more um, like stance ready. And then what we can do is if we're going to put this into like a game situation uh, or something like that. Uh, what we can do then is um, kind of implement this this jump move into um, a game game scenario, and then that will also um, kind of allow us to do um, an attack or an idle. Um, we do a lot of different things with that. I'm going to basically keep my root uh, oriented straight. Uh, it's going to allow for you know a little bit less gimbling, things like that. I'm not going to like go too crazy with uh, this pose. I'm just going to kind of rough it in. We can always tweak it later and um, probably do an, an additional um, tutorial on uh, how to do some idle animations. Um, so in this, in this case, I just want to kind of get this um, pose kind of, yeah, you know, kind of in a nice ready stance, ready to uh, kind of push this character up into the air and um, what I have is an FK spine I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all these controls I'm in um, local IK so I'm just gonna be able to uh, basically these hands are gonna follow uh, the route the way that it's set up just that way I can kind of like quickly um, yeah, I, I can quickly just pose my arms into a uh, kind of a more active stance here So I'm just gonna kind of grab these um, controllers, kind of get us into uh, a little bit more of a natural, more athletic position, just to start out with. Um, I do have a reference here. Um, it's just kind of a still image um, that I'm looking at here, but um, not gonna be too critical about it as this, this tutorial is mostly about um, the uh, the jump position. So I'm just going to kind of rough in my uh, fingers. And then kind of grab these arms. Um, And you can basically do this same kind of um, pose if you're going to do FK arms or uh, however you want to animate your uh, your arms. I just find that uh, just I can pretty much rough in um, a pose very quickly if I go local IK uh, with it. The head as well. You could pre you could you could orient this um, in in world space, so the head's kind of always looking forward. But um, just in case your rig. Uh, doesn't have that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it the manual way, just so that you can kind of see if you need to manually adjust that head, how to how to take care of that. I also am an auto key, um, so it's going to remember basically all the poses uh, that I do once I once I move them. I'm just going to duplicate the hands for now and just keep them keep them pretty rough right now. Um, something that I would probably go into another pass. A little bit towards the end, but already we've got a little bit more of an active stance for him. And uh, let's see, don't want to deviate too much from the uh, root, so actually I might keep him situated 
and if anything i will move the feet that way if you are going to throw him kind of into a game engine situation he's at the origin it's something to definitely keep in mind um, so that if you are going to create some type of a jump situation for him um, he would be ready to be implemented in game from the uh, from your programmer so it's a pretty good pose for now um, doesn't have to be uh, perfect like I said I just want to kind of position him there and if you just want to be safe uh, you go ahead and select all the controllers and then go ahead and key it um, I work in auto key so uh, I like to block everything off if you uh, not really using my graph editor at this point but you can see we got keys on all these poses mm -hmm.